Aaron, African Meat here. Thank you for coming back to my channel. In this project I made, again, uh, off-center turning. Um, I fell in love with the off-center turning. It gives you some nice features. Um, and this time I made a pendant, but a big pendant with off-center cuts. And I used resin to fold them up. And I made it thin and big. Um, then I made a holder for this one, um, for this pendant. Uh, also that I used the technique for uh, off-center turning to create the holder. And I'll show you all of them. But this is my pendant. As you can see, the holder looks like a, I tried to make it look like a shirt with buttons and holes for the buttons. Uh, I'll show you how I made it. Um, it was fun. Um, the holder is made of paduk. The wood is yellow wood. Ooh, to work with paduk. Everything is ready in my workshop. So let me show you how I made it. Remember, safety first, mask, a shield. Let me show how I made it. I marked a place for a center and off center, and I drilled out a 50 mil um, with, the, with the drill. It was just um, a short cleanup, uh, so I can mark properly the places that I wanna that I wanna cut, so it will be seen properly. And here you have to be very careful because you're cutting more air than anything else. I'm just cleaning the surface from the cut. It's been with hot glue connected to a MDF, a very thin MDF, and then a PVC around it. So I can have a rim of of uh, resin around the, of, around the project. By using the MDF, I managed to keep the holes um, of the that are drilled open. I'm sorry, I didn't notice that the camera dropped a little bit and you can see only the bottom half of the, um, of the exercise of the project. It's really beautiful when it turns, it mesmerizes you. As it turns and you look at that, you'll see that it's like mesmerizing, it's like hypnotizing you. The idea is to create um, a, a jump chuck, and that's what I'm doing now. Here again, I'm using um, painter's tape. So the hot gun glue 
uh, won't uh, damage the, um, the plate, uh, the pendant at all. Let's remove the support tenant. All my sending is uh, from 180 to 400 or 600, all the time. Now you can see why I'm using painter's tape, because I'm removing it and there is no damage to uh, the final project. Let's do some buttons, wild olive. One out of four. For the base, I'm using a Paduk, even that I not really like to working with Paduk because it leaves a lot of mess. Huh? But this color is reddish and it it, it works nicely with the with the color of the um, resin that I put on the pendant. Sometimes the grains in Paduk stands up and that's why I'm using a lot of uh, wood sealer.
After I cleaned it up on this side, I turned it around and I drilled off center um, another 50 mil to behold the reverse chuck on my uh, chuck. I'm using epoxy putty to create a color, color, color of the shirts. I'm using a Dremel just to, for the fast finish and for the groove in the middle. Buttons time. We, I'm going to create a but I'm going to put the buttons and I'm going to make the holes for the, the other side of the button. The piece that I cut off to look like a shirt, I'm going to use it uh, to, to make the stand for the stand, the base for the stand.
I'm using a rubber band from a bicycle tube uh, to put over the wood so when I put it in the reverse when I put it in the other chuck I'm not going to damage the wood. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and this project. Um, if you like it, um, subscribe to my channel. It will help me and gives the thumb up. If you want to leave any remarks, please do. I will answer to all of them as I can see them. Thank you and thanks for watching.